All right, man, it's, you know, and there's been a lot of shifting on that right side, but it seems you've really settled into that position on the right, right tackle. I mean, uh, is that more put you in more of a comfort zone heading into this week, or has that really changed anything for you? Uh, I mean, I've always been prepared to play guard or tackle ever since day one from the, from the uh, spring and, and the fall, so it doesn't really change it too much, but I mean, it's always good to be able to comfortably know you're going into a game and you're playing at one position, and, and you got to know all your plays for that one position and stuff like that, so it's more comfortable probably, but I can always go back to guard if I need to. Does it change your workload at all as far as preparation each week? I mean, not ha- only having to focus on one position? No, no, I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I can speak for everyone else. Remember I said we know what to do on pretty much every position. The only one that might be a little bit different will be center because center probably has to know a little bit more and, and has to snap the ball, obviously. But I'd say Tanner and Dwayne and all of us could could know pretty much every position. We prepare for every position, so I wouldn't say it changed my preparation that much. And it looks like Randall's settling in at uh, right guard. I mean, is that what's that like having two different guys subbing in and out? I mean, does that change anything as far as you're concerned, or do you even notice? No, I mean, you definitely notice because, I mean, they're obviously two different players and they play two different ways. So, I mean, it's always good to get that chemistry with both with uh, one guy in there in a game. But we practice, whenever, whenever they were doing more subbing out, we'd practice that way too. So you've got chemistry with both guys practicing, and then now that Randall might have settled in a little bit more, we practice that way a little bit more. So get a little bit more comfortable with Randall, I guess. Uh, you didn't notice the difference in the backs, like when you're, when you're blocking, whether it's whether it's Taylor back there, or whether it's Tony. Do you have to do some different things? I mean, because they're both two different players. I mean, do you have to anticipate different things with those guys? Uh, I wouldn't say you have to anticipate different things. I mean, obviously, we seem to probably maybe run a little bit more outside with Tony because he's obviously that quick, quick dude. But Taylor's really fast for how big he actually is, and Tony runs hard too. So I wouldn't say in my mind you don't think, oh, all right, Tony's back there, I got to do this differently, or Taylor's back there. You know, you pretty much approach everything differently. Maybe the play calling, but that's a, that's up to Coach Wise what he wants to call. You know, heading into week, you've had you know all, all the all the spring and all the fall, and now <clears> four. <throat> uh, Week four, you know, what have you noticed about Tim Coach Grunhard, and what what has he done for your game, and how is he? Uh, I mean, Coach Grunhard's a really good coach. Uh, he's always he always brings energy to the to practices and to games. He's always fired up, ready to go, and and so that far as far, far as bringing energy is good. But he also knows exactly what he's talking about, and he can provide specific examples like this is how we used to do it, this is how I did it in the NFL, and you always know. I mean, anytime somebody's like, that's how I did in the NFL, everyone's like, oh yeah, you know. So that just bringing that experience and that energy really is. Uh, real quick, give us a quick breakdown of what you expect from Northern Illinois. Uh, I mean, they're probably going to play a lot of guys in the box at first. Uh, they they gave up some rushing yards to Army, and and so we watched it on film, and they, they play a lot of guys in the box, and, uh, you know, I mean, that's, they play an even front most of the time, so we'll see what happens. It's like getting James back. I mean, you guys oh, yeah, get James has really transformed his, the way he plays. He's, he's a hundred times better than he was last year, and I'm really excited for him to finally get this opportunity. He's been waiting a long time, obviously, throughout the whole spring and throughout the whole fall, knowing he wasn't going to get play the first three games. He's really excited to go, and I think I think he'll, he'll play very well. What's the attitude like heading in on the first road game this week? Is any, anything different as far as preparation or anything like that? Uh, we have to get suits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're wearing suits on the road, so I mean, that's a little different. But as far as preparation, I mean, I'm sure we'll do some crowd noise because, you know, you never know how loud the crowd's going to be. So I'm sure we'll practice a little bit with that. But uh, other than that, probably not a whole bunch of different preparation. You excited about the opportunity? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm really excited. This is my first start on the road, obviously. So uh, it'll be exciting for sure. 